Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe, and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can use Agile CRM. So let's get into it. First here you can see your home page. Here you can see your dashboard. It contains your contacts, revenue, deals, calls, tasks. It also contains your activities here. So if you want to add any element to your dashboard just go to add dashlet here. You can add from contact tab, you can add contact list, tab graph, from deals, you can add all these options. You can also add options related to calendar, activity, RSS feed, and account info. You can also access this add menu on the top right so that you can add contact, company, deal, event, task, note, email, ticket, call, or document. Here you can also access on how to get started. You can import your contacts, set up email. You can publish online calendar, set up telephony or invite users. Here you can access on tasks, calendar and the search bar. So let's go and add our first contact. After going to contacts, you can import your contacts from CSV. You can import from Salesforce. You can import from other, however, we are going to build our first contact from scratch. So let's go to add contact here. It will ask you some information like the name, last name, title, company name. So we did not add any uh, any companies yet, so it's, there are no companies here. So I will just delete this and I will add the company later. You can also add the email of the contact, phone number and tags. Now let's, con now let's save. And here is our first contact, you can see uh, the, the details of the contact from here, you can edit it from here, you can send an email and you can access on more options like add task, add, de add deal, add campaign and we will do all of these now but not from here, we will add it from here. So you can, you have two options whether to add these things or these options from here or from here. So now let's move on and go to notes here, you can add a note uh, for this contact like here and this is related to Sarah so let's save and here we have added a note successfully now you can also add an event you can add a task so let's add a task for Sarah here let's say appointment category is is maybe meeting date of meeting and time the owner priority let's say it's high priority for example, status, uh, yet to start, related uh, to Sarah and related deals. Let's just leave it here and press on save. Now you can add deals here. Let's, you can add existing deal or add a deal. Let's create a deal from scratch. Let's say contract, name save value, $10,000. Uh, probability, maybe 50%. Milestone, it's pro in proposal stage, close date, you can choose your close date, for example, this one. You can add your deal source, you can add the type, you can also add related to whom, which is Sarah, you can add task and you can save now. Uh, okay, it, it doesn't accept any samples, so I will just insert 10,000 and it's automatically set to dollars, so now let's save. And here is our deal. So you can go back to uh, tasks, for example. You can edit it from here. And you can now add uh, the related deal as contract. And here it is. So now let's update. Perfect. You can also add campaigns. You can add web stats. You can add a mail. Uh, you can add documents, you can add tickets, you can add all these options. Now let's move on to uh, add company here. 
so now we can add company from here let's name it Papetko and URL I will leave it empty now I will save and here I can find the, it, the details of the company I can also edit it I can send an email I can access here some uh, other options now let's go to contacts here you have an option to add existing contact or add a contact since I already have a contact who, which is uh, who is uh, Sarah I will just add it to this uh, company once I write Sarah it appears here and I will save now perfect now let's go to, to the deals here you can see all the deals that you have placed here we have the contract deal so you can uh, drag it and drop it in any other uh, of these sections you can add it to pro to step back you can add it to step front you can add it to the one or lost here you can archive it or delete it so let's just keep it in the proposal so this is how you can control your deals now let's move on to uh, the inbox here you can compose an email same like gmail and other ordinary email providers you can write an email to any one you want now let's move on to uh, online calendar here you can see the URL to your calendar so here you can um, schedule any meeting so let's say you want a fast meeting like 15 minutes let's pick it and now you can uh, choose the date of the meeting you can also ch choose when are you available so that uh, the candidate can uh, or the or the employee or the contact or whoever can choose whether he is available in this meeting as well or not you can also insert here the contact information let's say it's Sarah you can place her mail and meeting type is in person now let's confirm just uncheck this and confirm okay phone number let's add any uh, fake number and confirm perfect and here you have scheduled your appointment now let's return again to agile CRM and we will talk about one last thing which is automations here I will not create an automation however I will just uh, speak about it fast let's first uh, sign in with Google and see what is in here you have your autom automation so basically automation is an idea or a concept in which you just place a sequence of steps that are implied or performed once a specific action is triggered so this, this step these steps are applied without your intervention so now let's check whether uh, if a contact added for example we can send him an email and you can mention exactly what are the components of the email you can place the text and afterwards you can save uh, your email okay I will just fill the mandatory contact owner to subject for example now let's save and now you've got your own email so after this you can wait for example and you can decide the duration like days for example one day save then for example you can let's see you can add a task for example here so the task is for example meeting call priority is normal and now let's save it requires the due days um, one or two maybe okay so basically these are the sequence of steps now you need to decide uh, the sequence or the arrangement of these steps so once 
here are the start once the person or the contact is accepted you can just send him an email a welcome email afterwards you can wait uh, for uh, the sequence of steps that we uh, what that we decided now you can just add a task to this co contact or this new employee so this is basically how automations are performed they can be more complex based on what you need to achieve and so uh, this basically is how you use or how you can use Agile CRM. This brings us to the end of our tutorial today. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel for more valuable tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.